Uh, coming up next to the stage is a man that you've probably heard on your podcast. And in my life, I would say that probably a dozen times someone has come up to me and asked, is dog real? The answer is yes, God damn it. Stog is real. Stog is alive. Stog is very weird. And he and met the Copacabana. <laughs> and he sang the Copacabana last night. Party, 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 party. All right, God damn it. Here comes Stog. I have a question for you guys. Do you like dragons? Yeah. Do you like Sonic the Hedgehog? Yeah. Do you like Adolf fucking Hitler? Yeah. <laughs> well, prepare to cry into your beers because here comes Sonic the Hedgehog, World War II dragon. <laughs> Eat the mic. Wow, said Tails, we are at school. <laughs> Tails, being the smartest, was Tails and all of the else people in their class were in class at school, and it was history class. <laughs> okay, here is your big project, said Mr. Learning. <laughs> you are all going to do a project about World War II. It is due on Monday when the weekend is over. It is really important and the biggest thing you will do. If you fail this project, you will have to go to a different high school. <laughs> oh, and also you have to do this project with another person. Said Mr. Learning to the class, his class. Sonic and Tails looked right at each other with the biggest eyeballs and did a strong high five. Oh, said Sonic to Tails. With you, I will never fail this project. We have avoided the conflict and our destiny is sealed. Okay, but I want to do something that is better than everyone else. You know how I am when it comes to school. Screamed Tails to Sonic. There was so much hubbub in the classroom, it was like being in an ocean of little boys. <laughs> yep, oh, an ocean of little boys. <laughs> ah, okay, shouted Sonic to Tails in that old Sonic way. Sonic and Tails got up out of the classroom and went into the hallway, and then into a different hallway, and then out of the school and went to Tails' house. Okay, here is my idea, said Tails to Sonic, who was now in Tails' room. Here is a, here is a time machine that I invented. We are going to use it to go back in time and stop World War II from ever happening, so that we have the best grid ever. And everyone else fails because World War II will not have happened and they'll be doing projects about fake things. <laughs> okay, said Tails. This is how the time machine works. I have to use the control thing here. You have to go into the time machine and go and stop World War II. I can talk to you and use the time machine on you from here, so don't worry, you mess things up big time, because I can get you out. Go, 
cool, said Sonic. <laughs> but how do I stop World War II from happening? Said Sonic, making a face that was confused, like an ostrich at a new zoo looking for his food when all the other ostriches leave to go eat, but he doesn't know where to go. <laughs> Well, a blue sleet, you have to kill Rudolf Hitler, shouted Tails. Rudolf Hitler! <laughs> now get in the time machine! The time machine looked like a big gray thing with parts. <laughs> Sonic looked surprising, but Tails pushed him into the time machine. Here we go, shouted Tails. I'm sending you to before World War II! <laughs> Sonic felt like he was in a bathtub filled with yogurt. And then before... <laughs> <laughs> and then before he knew it, he popped out of the time machine and suddenly he was in Germany. You are in Germany, said Tails to Sonic with his time machine technology. I don't know what to do! What am I doing? Oh, how do I kill Hitler? <laughs> Shouted Sonic out loud to Tails. But uh-oh, it looks like Sonic shouldn't have done that because then the Nazis, not Nazis, Nazis, came for Sonic. <laughs> uh, that blue teen is thinking about killing Hitler. Get him and put him in jail. <laughs> the Nazi army people came over and grabbed Sonic on the arms. Hey, let go of me! Let go! Tell! The Nazis are taking me away! Help! <laughs> Screamed Sonic like a wild ass. you mess up already? Well, okay, I have to put you in another time zone for a while before I can bring you back to Germany. Here we go, said Tails with his speaker. Tails hit some buttons and did a variety of smart things, and then Sonic disappeared in a flash of light and appeared in ancient Egypt. Right. You are in ancient Egypt now, Sonic. I am not. I am still in my house using the time machine. You're a burden sometimes. <laughs> Sonic was in ancient Egypt and said, Well, I guess I can just have fun here for a while while I wait to go back to ancient Germany. <laughs> Sonic saw a permaid and went inside it. So Sonic meets King Tut, spelled T-U-N-T, -T, King Tunt. <laughs> and they both become fan of fans of each other, which leads to this. King Tunt pointed at a picture at the wall. It was a big picture of a dragon with spikes coming out the back of his head. You are one of the legendary hedgehogs who can become a dragon using your cool powers. <laughs> I what? knew he would get to hear stuff if you did that. <laughs> <laughs> what? A dragon? Said Sonic to King Tunt. <laughs> yeah, if you just try it, it should happen. <laughs> Said King Tunt, looking at Sonic weird. But maybe it is because someone in your family line of hedgehog isn't cool enough. Every hedgehog in the family line has to be cool or awesome or an expert for it to work. <laughs> well, well, it's not me, said Sonic, and put on a pair of sunglasses that we always kept in his back pocket in this story. See, I am cool. Sonic smiled so big, using teeth. Well, sorry, it looks like someone else in your family history is a loser, so you can't be a dragon now. 
said King Tunt to Sonic before calling his guards and pushing him out the door. Sonic was now outside. Hey, Tails! said Sonic to Tails. Can you look up my family history and figure out who isn't cool enough for me to be a dragon? I never knew I could become a dragon, but I think that is how we can defeat Hitleg. <laughs> Hitleg! <laughs> Tails typed fast, so fast, faster than the fastest car you have ever seen or can even think of. Hey, Sonic, I think I found the answer. I'm going to send you to the person now. This person is also in World War II. Make him cool. I hope it's not Hitler. <laughs> Sonic also hoped it was not Hitler because then he would be related to him and would have to go to jail. He was now outside the house. Sonic also hoped it was not Hitler. Yes. Okay, my family member must be in this house. Sonic went inside and looked around, but he did not find anyone. He looked in all the rooms he could find. What is this, a joke? I'm so pissed at this. I want to be a dragon, <laughs> said Sonic out loud to himself, but outside of his head. <laughs> then he heard something. Hello? Is, is someone down there? said a voice coming from the floor above him. <laughs> yeah, it's me, Sonic the Hedgehog. You might have heard of me, said Sonic, laughing and smiling because he now knows he is famous enough to be known by King Tunt. Who is in history books? Oh, come on, said the voice. Sonic went up there and saw a girl. She looked sad. <laughs> hey, who are you? Said Sonic to the girl who was standing there. I'm Aunt Frank. <laughs> and Lemon just walked out of the building, everybody. Good night. I hope everyone drives home safe. Thank you for listening to our podcast. <laughs> okay. Lemon's back. We can continue. I'm Anne Frank, said the girl, who was actually Anne Frank. <laughs> gonna sound crazy but I'm related to you I am here to help you you're not cool enough <laughs> said Sonic Sonic bounced up and down on the wooden floor and it made creaky sounds they were in an attic <laughs> really said Anne Frank now she looked even sadder she was living here all by herself in this attic Yeah, no wonder you're not cool. You're living up here in an attic, said Sonic to Anne Frank. But I'm scared of the Nazis, said Anne Frank, almost ready to cry. She was so sad. You have to face your... <laughs> you have to face your fears, said Sonic to Anne Frank. You cannot just hide up here in this attic all the time waiting for something good to happen. You have to go and do it yourself. Show the world who you really are. <laughs> wow, I get it now, said Anne Frank. I'm too busy being afraid of the Nazis. <laughs> I need to face my fears and leave this attic. I am not just Anne Frank. 
I am Ed Frank the Hedgehog. Yeah! And then she took off her headband and big hedgehog spikes came out the back of her head. Yeah, that's it. There are so many things you can do that you can do if you're not just not afraid. You can go to Applebee's and use... <laughs> <laughs> you, you can go to Applebee's and use teen social media and, and buy an Xbox and even have penis plus for the angina sex, just like me and Amy. Wow. <laughs> wow. Said Sonic to Anne Frank, winking. <laughs> I did not know about this whole new world of possibilities. I'm going to start right now by leaving this attic, said Anne Frank to Sonic. Thank you. Thank you for showing me that I should not be afraid of the Nazis. I am going to go to the mall, said Anne Frank. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always the worst. I'm always the worst. With that, Sonic left the house and went outside and said, Mission complete! To tech tales from his technology gadget. Okay. Okay, now we have to get you to Hitler's castle. It is super defense ranges. Can't get you into it just by the time machine. Said Tails to Sonic in a thinking way. Hitler was the president of Germany, so they had to be really careful and think of a good plan. Oh, maybe you can disguise as a pizza delivery man and then sneak into Hitler's room. No, Tails, no, that will not work, said Sonic. You are forgetting pizza was not invented yet in World War II. Damn! Fuck! Pizza! said Tails to Sonic. I have a plan. Just get me to outside Hitler's castle and I will do the rest. Use the time machine now! They had to go back before World War II started because Anne Frank was during World War II and so they wanted to stop World War II from happening so they had to go back before it happened. Tails his buttons and Sonic just went out to a different time with a sound like whoop. <laughs> Thanks, dog. The myth, the legend, the man, Stog. <laughs> Fucking. How is that po like if you were to like if you were to draw that story like on like musical notation where like it hits and then you got a peak and then you're like oh no that's the new pe oh no that's the new oh the fucking Anne Frank are you serious <laughs> oh my god thanks one more time for Stog please one more time for Stog <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs>